okay? Uh, so hello, Omer, hello, everyone. Uh, it's awesome to be here. It's my first time in Dubai, uh, first time in uh, JIDEX. Uh, so what are my thoughts? Well, you know, my background has been using Python with test automation pretty much all the time throughout my entire career. And so I think Python is great, it's awesome. Uh, now, I think there are, there are three key, key points uh, that I would outline why people use Python for test automation specifically. Um, so one is Python as a language, it's designed to be easy to learn and it's designed to be extremely easy to understand, to read. Uh, so when you look at Python source code, um, it seems as if it's plain text English, uh, and that's one of the ideas. Uh, when you read top to bottom, left to right, as if you would read the English language, um, and if it's Python code which is written well, which is elegant, then you should be able to understand it. The other reason is uh, by design, the Python language is explicit, which means if you want to do something, you have to tell the computer exactly what you want to do. Uh, that makes working with Python, again, easy because everything is very obvious. You read it, if it's there uh, and it's obvious, that's it. There are other languages which are uh, not explicit, they're implicit, uh, so they rely on internal knowledge that's in your head, uh, much less so with Python itself. Um, and the third reason is, you know, we have a very good ecosystem. We have uh, uh, nice tools uh, in the Python world, uh, so that makes it easy for you to get started. Uh, makes it easy for you to actually do your job um, and to achieve uh, meaningful results. So that's why I think Python is a good choice for test automation. Uh, well, my talk was about abstract syntax trees and parsing, which is um, kind of, you know, on a lower level, that's, these are the first two, two things usually that happen with any programming language. Um, and I mentioned a couple of tools which are popular, uh, Python developers use them all the time. Um, so Black for code formatting, uh, PyLint, uh, one of the most popular linters, uh, I just explained on a high level how they work, uh, how they work internally. Uh, one of the tools which I mentioned and isn't that popular is called Cosmic Ray. Uh, this is a mutation testing tool for Python. Uh, very briefly, what mutation testing does is uh, that's uh, a technique for checking how good or how bad your test suite is. So this is testing the tests, not, not the software itself. Um, and the way that it works is uh, Cosmic Ray is going to modify your programs, your Python programs, um, at runtime, you know, independently of, of you, and that happens all automatically, and it's going to execute your test suite over and over and over again, and at the end, it's going to provide a report for you. Um, so it's very interesting, both from a technical point of view, also from a testing point of view. All right, so good question. So uh, Kivit CMS, as the name suggests, is a test management system. Um, it's open source and we are very, very close uh, to 2 million downloads. Um, I, this morning I checked, it was uh, less than 3,000 short of 2 million downloads. Uh, the space in which we operate, uh, like, you know, the test management space, um, it's part of a larger uh, ecosystem called application lifecycle management. Um, and, you know, that, that's a very broad topic. Uh, we focus specifically on testing and uh, we do not compete with Selenium, we do not compete with other testing tools, we work together with them. Um, so you can think about it, Kiwi TCMS uh, sits here um, on one level and then you have Selenium, other tools um, adjacent to it, they work independently and then all of the information um, is fed into Kiwi TCMS that becomes your central hub to understand your automated testing activities, to understand your manual testing activities, maybe to plan future work, uh, maybe to look at, at the state of your software product and say, oh, it's good enough so we can go on and release the next version. That's what it does. Right, well, that's, uh, again, a very spot on question. I think everybody today has been asking around the same stuff. Um, you know, I'm a little bit skeptical. Um, I haven't had um, any experience with AI in testing or coding uh, um, as of yet. Um, I have seen GitHub Copilot, um, I have uh, seen the demos, I have talked to other people who have used it. Um, again, all of these like small projects, they aren't very practical. Um, and, and the report is that it, it works well enough, kind of it's useful. Um, on the other hand, you know, that's not so much of a challenge into the testing world. Like the challenge for us is everything is vaguely defined, everything is unknown, we have no idea what the software is supposed to be doing um, in order to test it. Uh, you know, maybe AI tools will help. Uh, I'm a little bit skeptical. 
you know, like in my opinion, it's, it's better to invest in improving uh, people's technical skills rather than just creating yet another layer um, of complicated abstractions which nobody understands. Yes. Thank you, Omar. Have a good time, everyone. Happy testing.